So, my little Effie girl is eight weeks old. We'll get you some more hay there, I chew. And so she takes a bottle really, really well. And when we get brand new babies, I'll do another video to kind of show how to train them from day one. Whew. But from about six weeks on, I like to get 30 to 32 ounces in them a day. And whether that is three 10 to 12 ounce bottles or two 16 ounce bottles, I'm not really overly concerned. Um, I just like to get that total ounces in them. So, um, brought her home. Um, at Sherry's, she was taken almost to 16 ounce bottle, got her home. She's been a little stressed out. And so, um, we've gone back to, I'm going back to three bottles a day with her just to get that total of 30 ounces in her a day, make sure she's getting enough. Um, but yeah, like you can see once they, once they know what a bottle is, it's, it's real easy to get them to take it and to get, get them and see Achu is thinking she needs some. She's been weaned off the bottle for a few weeks, but yeah, she, it just, I make sure that the bottles are um, about 101 to 103 degrees um, after a while you can kind of feel what that feels like they fall off when they're pretty full I usually will check and see once if they'll take any more. If they do, then I let them fall off a second time and then be done. But like, she's pretty sure she's done. And you can see her little, her little belly has poked out some, but she's not, she's still soft. Like her belly's not hard. And you want to make sure that when you're feeding them that you're not overfeeding these bottle babies. Um, so, you know, you, you want them to be full, but not over full. You can, you can kill a baby goat just as easily by overfeeding them as you can by not feeding them enough. So it's real important to pay close attention to how much these babies are getting, huh? Yeah. You think you want, you don't need any at you. Yeah, you'll go back outside later. Yeah, you'll go run around outside later. We had boys in the breeding pen this morning, huh? Yeah, we did. You'll go out in that pen in a little while. But yeah, so that's, it's that easy and it's that quick. So she's right now getting a, getting about 10 ounces three times a day and as much hay as she'll eat. And this pretty girl is trying to make me really fall in love with her and it's working. Yeah, huh, it's working. So, but that's really all these babies need when they're that age is their bottle. She's eight weeks old. She's going to get started on some pelleted feed here pretty soon. But hay and their bottles is pretty much all they really need. And then they get start drinking water as you cut bottles out. Huh. And start on get started on grain at a 
you know. Silly goose. Silly goose. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it. That's how you bottle feed a baby goat. Oh, you're sneezing on me. Say bye, Achoo. Hey guys, editing Katie here. Um, I was working on this video and realized there were a couple of things that I wanted to say that I kind of left out. Um, one being that if you are raising a bottle baby from one of your own does, um, whether by choice or because mom refuses to or can't raise it herself, um, the best option is to milk out mom and to bottle raise that baby on goat's milk. Um, the second best option is whole cow's milk from the star store, like the red cap cow's milk. Um, if you are bringing a bottle baby home, try to get some, and you don't have a dough and milk at home, try to get some goat's milk from whoever you are getting that baby from and then mix it half and half and then um, a third and two thirds. And then I even go down to a quarter and three quarters with the goat's milk and cow's milk. And then um, eventually get that baby totally switched over to just the fully the whole cow's milk. Um, I don't recommend the, like the powdered goat milk supplements um you can use them they're you're more likely to have digestive issues with your babies just because than with using fresh goat's milk or cow's milk just because of it's usually human error in mixing and not necessarily the formula's fault um but with the cow's milk or fresh goat's milk you don't have to worry about that so, um, I think that was the biggest thing, uh, just as far as if you're bringing home a baby, make sure you get some goat's milk if you don't have a dough and milk at home. And if you're raising your own, the best thing to do is to raise them on mama's milk, even if you're bottle raising them. Um, I pull all my babies at birth and, uh, we'll walk through that process this spring when we're doing kidding. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I'll see you next time.